When you're on a journey of evolution, there are plenty of ups and downs and everything in between. Your only constant is change. So how do you stay calm during this journey of evolution? When things are ebbing and flowing, when things are evolving, that means something has to change. So how do you unleash the power of calm? Learn how to conquer anxiety with these five essential strategies. Due to human biology, we're wired to stay the same. Staying the same keeps the survival rates high. Yet when you're on a spiritual evolutionary journey, change is necessary. Yet with change, it tends to bring uncomfortable feelings and uncomfortable experiences. One of the most common things that shows up on this evolutionary journey due to the amount of change is anxiety. My journey of evolution began when I was young, maybe around eight to 10 years old. I would see my parents come home from work unhappy, stressed out, and agitated. And this was all due to their jobs. And I always wondered, certainly there's another way of living. Certainly, you don't have to hate your job in order to make a living. Maybe it's possible to enjoy a life and what you do. That started a series of events that led me down a journey of evolution. Yet when I engaged with the practices and the processes of change, I was left with experiences of uncertainty. And within my body, it showed up as anxiety. My mind would race. I couldn't really sleep and the uncertainty would become overwhelming at times. This started me on a path of knowledge, of looking to different resources to acquire and absorb all of these different opportunities or ways to calm the anxiety within me. I studied ancient philosophies, yogic practices, and even dove into the realm of brain science to come up with these five essential strategies. Over the years, I found one of the best things that I could do to help calm the anxiety was to go outside. Get outside, take a look around, open your focus, open your awareness, take a deep breath in. The act of being out in nature allows your mind to calm down. The color green has shown to create a calmness through the body and the nervous system. And when you have a broad focus where you can look around and see a bigger view of the world, the brain waves start to slow down. So the first tip is to get outside. Yet on my journey, sometimes the anxiety was so overwhelming and so intense that I needed an additional boost to help calm the anxiety. So tip number two is to ground. And the best way that you can ground is to connect your bare skin to the earth. Research has shown when you place your bare feet or hands or any part of your skin on the earth, it allows the inflammation to reduce. So this couples very well with going outside and broadening your focus. When the body is directly connected to the earth, it has a neutralizing effect on the magnetic field. It allows things to calm down. And in some studies, they found that the blood actually thins when you have a regular practice of grounding or connecting your feet onto the earth. And this helps to support heart health and brain health because the flow of nutrients moves much smoother, faster, and easier through the bloodstream. Yet sometimes I would find that the anxiety would rise during times when I couldn't be outside. I didn't have an opportunity to go out and place my feet on the earth or to get that broad view of nature. So I tapped into my yogic knowledge to help reduce the anxiety. This is through breath work or pranayama. And the practice is inhaling through your nose, then exhaling through pursed lips.
When you do that, you allow new energy and oxygen to flow into the body. And as you purse the lips, it allows any tension to be reduced or released from the physical body. This is something you can do for about maybe 10 to 15 breaths, maybe even up to three minutes if you have the time. But this is a great practice to utilize, especially if you can't get outside and ground. However, it also works really well as an addition to being outside, placing your feet on the earth, and then working with this breathing practice. It's almost certain that the anxiety will be soothed and calmed. And many times, once the anxiety started to calm, I found myself understanding some of the thoughts and all of these situations that were rolling around in my mind. And this led me to tap into some of the brain science that I had studied and how thoughts create pathways, neural pathways within the brain. Now, these neural pathways, over time, they get bigger and bigger when you have a repetitive thought or situation moving through your mind. And one practical technique to help honor and understand what's going on with your mind is through the practice of journaling. So especially when the anxiety is big and I start to uncover what's going on for me, I write down everything that's on my mind. And it doesn't matter how irrational it is, I write it down. Because this allows me to be a witness to my experience. Well, what is going on in the mind? What is true and what is just made up? What's a fact versus what's a possibility? And when you do this and you look at things from a practical perspective, you have more opportunity to clarify the mind and become very certain on what it is you'd like to think about. Because the truth is, anxiety is an overaction of the mind. It's almost an inflammation of the mind. So once you've calmed the mind down by being able to see what it is that's running through it, you can pick and choose which thoughts you want to continue to think. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't just a smooth practice. Once you say it or think it one time, it's going to be solved. This does require a bit of energy and a bit of effort to stay diligent and to stay focused, but it's always worth it. And research has shown when you engage with the thoughts, you see what it is that you're thinking that's creating all of this anxiety, and you choose to make a different thought to create a new neural pathway, then the brain actually begins to change and your body is no longer habituated or addicted to the anxious patterns. Then finally, I found myself when I was in these anxious patterns, exhausted. There's so much energy running through my brain all the time that I couldn't sleep and I found myself simply fatigued. So the fifth essential tip for reducing anxiety is warmth. Get your body warm. Maybe use extra layers or a heated blanket or take a warm bath or a shower. The act of warmth helps to calm the nervous system and can be a perfect antidote to anxiety. I worked with chronic anxiety for years, and these are the best tips that supported me on my evolutionary journey. My name is Tage. Try out some of these tips, let me know how they go, and check out some of my yoga classes, meditations, and other offerings to help unleash the power of calm within you.